Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about the use of passive reference die in real time PCR. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So let's see what are passive reference dies. Passive reference dies are commonly used in uh, qPCR reactions to normalize for non-PCR related fluorescent signal variation. The passive reference dies does not take part in the qPCR reaction. So the passive reference dye signal is stable throughout the reaction. This provides a reference internal to the reaction to which reported dye signal can be normalized. ROX is the most commonly used uh, passive reference dye in qPCR. The ROX is also known as carboxyrhodamine. It is an inert fluorescent dye that can be added to the qPCR master mix. Unlike the other reported dyes in qPCR like uh, cyber green, ROX is referred to as a passive dye because its fluorescence signal is not influenced by the PCR reaction. Hence, the fluorescent signal of the ROX remains stable throughout the qPCR process and it is not related to the amount of template in the reaction. Let's see why ROX is used as a passive reference dye in qPCR. The main reason for using it in qPCR is for the signal normalization. By normalizing the fluorescent signal, variability between the te technical replicates can be reduced. Slight variations between wells can affect the fluorescent signal generated in qPCR. For example, uh, the differences in the reaction volume due to pipetting error can cause bias in the results. And also issues associated with uh, qPCR instruments, optics can also influence the fluorescent signal generated. So to normalize that, a passive reference dye like ROX will be very useful. The normalization using ROX is something similar to the use of a reference gene in the gene expression analysis like the delta delta CT and all. So instead of controlling the amount of template in the sample, ROX is normalizing for the attributes of qPCR mixture such as the volume differences and the presence of uh, air bubbles. To normalize a fluorescent signal, the signal of the reported dye is divided by the signal of ROX or the signal of the passive reference dye. And the new value is then known as the normalized reporter value. In amplification plots, the delta Rn is plotted on the y-axis against the cycle number on the x-axis. Here you can see in the next slide. Uh, the delta Rn is the difference between the normalized reporter of each experimental sample and the normalized reporter of the baseline. So therefore only the results which are above the baseline or background signal will be plot. It is not necessary to add uh, rocks to your qPCR mixture but adding it can help reduce the variations in the fluorescent value or the fluorescent signals in the samples. And the use of this is dependent on the uh, machine's qPCR instrument which you are using and it should be checked whether the instrument has the capability of measuring rocks channel or the rocks signal. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please press the bell icon to get notified. Thank you.